Hey guys, what's up? It's Sean, Autotopia LA. We're here at the Matranga Collection with Kent. We're shooting our second of two cars today. 71 Cuda. 71 Cuda. Built by uh, Andy Leach at Cal Auto Creations. Mm -hmm. He's done a couple of cars. In Nebraska. Yeah. yeah. Did you start clean canvas when you started the so, car? So yeah, so this, uh, you saw my bubble top out in the parking lot there, so that's when I got to know Andy Leach is through purchasing that bubble top and I uh, got to know him. And I told him I wanted to build a CUDA yeah. and he said, you know what, I have a CUDA in my shop that start, another guy started, he's got a bunch of money wrapped up into it, but he doesn't have the money to finish it. So I stepped in and I bought it from his customer and, and then we changed uh, the direction of it and uh, gotcha. that's how we ended up with this. So what's the platform on this one? Is it a, cha a full chassis? So th this is a unibody car. So it's basically mm -hmm. got a front and rear uh, clip. So it's yeah. got a front Magnum Force aftermarket uh, front clip, and then it's got a four link rear. Okay. It's okay. all sitting on coilovers. Uh, mm -hmm. It sits really nicely and still has plenty of clearance and drivability. There you go, uh, a bone stock uh, crate Hellcat motor. Gotcha. Uh, we didn't do anything to it. I wanted it to look like a Hellcat motor. I wanted somebody that walked up to it to say, oh, that's a Hellcat motor. So yeah. we didn't build a bunch of covers over it. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I've never been a big fan of the trash can engine covers. It's just, I'd like to see what see what's there. But I do like all the, the, the color choices yeah. in here to, to to make it a prettier engine, right? You know? We worked with uh, Charlie Hutton on the paint. He uh, painted the car for us, and he helped us uh, pick all the colors for the different uh, parts and pieces. So it's so it's stock. So you're what 707 horsepower? Is 707, it? yeah. Mm -hmm. It's uh, bone stock. It's uh, it you know it's we're running the the factory uh, manifolds into a. a three inch exhaust system that goes out through the back. We've got uh, mufflers on it and spin tech mufflers and then uh, uh, resonators on the back too, to give it the sound. Would you, uh, now this one you said is a, is manual trans, correct? Yeah, this is a six speed uh, Tremac mm -hmm. uh, transmission. It was built by Bowler uh, Performance Transmissions. So they take, yeah. they take the Tremec and kind of upgrade it, right? right make to it, their specs. So it can deal with the, the right. power you're putting to it. Yeah. And you, you pick some really interesting wheels. What, what are these on here? So these are one-off, uh, again, Regal uh, did the design mm -hmm. for us. And then uh, Evode Engineering actually cut these. So these are a one-off, uh, only on this car Got it. Uh, design. And that's a, is that a true pin drive knockoff? No, or? no, it's a, that's a, just a center cap. So Got it. knockoff okay. comes up and exposes the lug nuts behind it. What brakes are you running on this car? These are bare brakes on this one. Okay. So mm -hmm. bare brakes, slotted rotors. Yeah. Uh, got plenty, plenty of stopping power, the Corvette master cylinder there. This I love, by the way, this whole, this whole accent part here. Yeah, so we did the, you know, the CUDA always had this billboard on the side of it. Right. Uh, some of them said Hemi in them and others mm -hmm. were just painted. Mm -hmm. We wanted to just go the painted route and we decided to go, uh, this is a, uh, like a bronzy color mm -hmm. and uh, in flat. So the rest of the car is shiny, that billboard area is flat. Yeah, it really, it, the accent and then outlining it with the black stripe. Yeah, mm -hmm. the other one of the other custom things, these door uh, handles there, uh, they look stock, but they're actually not. They're smaller. They're about three quarters of what the stock. Usually uh, be a wider. They're handle, bigger right? and they also have a key mm -hmm. uh, uh, spot in mm -hmm. the stock ones, which we got rid of. So it's on uh, a button popper, uh, but it looks stock. I, I'm a big fan of keeping the door hinges in the car versus mm -hmm. just having the door poppers. All right, let's go look at this stunning interior here. It's original dash. Uh, all we did is upholstered the top of it. We put in that, uh, yeah, yeah. that's actually real wood instead of the plastic, uh, plastic stuff that uh, Chrysler used, we actually put real wood in there. Wow. Dakota Digital uh, supplied all of our gauges. And then this one's fully caged as well. Correct. Now this one, you did leave a back seat, which, man, you gotta be really small to fit back there, don't it's, you? It's it's a back seat, but you can't really get in there. Yeah, so yeah, uh, nobody's going back it's there. It's not really usable. Helps for insurance though, right? Right. Back seat. We also <laughs> like to keep the roll bars down so you can get in and out of the car mm -hmm. without doing uh, gymnastics. 
the colors on this one are very rich. It's like, it's subtle, but yet it's, 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 you kind of wish I could put this into a drink and drink it. I mean, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's just such a yeah, beautiful it's color. Smooth, it's smooth, easy on the eyes, and, but yeah. tastefully done. What are your seats in here? So I think these are actually glide engineering seats. You got great taste in cars. I mean, Thank you. you really do, man. Thank you. You're, you're, I appreciate you're, it. The choices you make are so cool, Kent. I definitely think we need to fire it up and go for a drive. We're going to go for a drive, you guys. loud yeah definitely sounds like a Hellcat yeah wow is the suspension ever set on Everything this right huh? good huh whoa god no that just it's scared the hell out of me the suspension is so sucked it up it is so proper on this. Yeah. Man, you really build these cars that you can drive. That's that. That's the idea. We like to drive them. So yeah. everything we do is about how well it's going to drive, not how well it's going to look. This is a serious wow car. If you're not saying wow like me, I don't know what else to show you guys. But we are gonna show you a few more of our favorite Mopars that we've shot through the years. And a big thanks you guys for hanging out and watching what we do here. See you in the next one.